London, I feel I can't go on without mentioning the riots as well. It's been very strange watching them from Edinburgh. But on the plus side, I felt that that would never happen in Edinburgh, those riots. No one can set fire to anything in this rain. <laughs> Everything's damp, sod it. I don't want to plasma TV that much. <laughs> I'm from a place called Ealing in West London. And like a lot of people, I was watching the riot and I was thinking, you know what, we have to not vilify these young people and understand what it is that has made them disengage so much from society to carry out these acts. And then they attacked my home suburb of Ealing. And I was like, tear gas, get out the tear gas, you m <laughs> Wasn't a proud moment for me. See, I watched the Queen open up the Ealing Broadway shopping center when I was about 11 years old. So I've always felt a very special connection to the royal family. <laughs> I was a, a young girl, a little girl, when, when Diana got married. And like a lot of mothers, my mum took me off to the hairdressers to get a Diana haircut. <laughs> it looks so cute on little blonde girls. But on me, I just look like a Lego man. <laughs> My earliest memory of London was when I was four years old. I was on the underground with my mother and my five-year-old brother, and a proper 70s punk was sat opposite us. Shaved head, big red Mohican. We'd never seen one of them before, and our mum went, Ey vai, which is Persian for oy vey. <laughs> and me and my brother were like, oh my God, look at that man, look at that man. Can you see his head? Can you see his head? Oh my God, look at that man. And our mum went, shush because he'll hear you, and that's rude. So I stopped talking about him. I just stared at him. <laughs> and my big brother went, cock a doodle -doo! <laughs> This poor little punk, he was only 17, trying to express himself, and he got well annoyed, right? So when he went to get off at his stop, he roughly shouldered our mum and said, go home to a young woman with two small children. I'll never forget, it was so nice. Everyone on the carriage looked at us, gave us little sympathetic glances and smiles. And an old lady next to me with such warmth and affection put her hand on my shoulder and said, don't you ever take any notice of people like that, my darling. It ain't your fault you're a packy. <laughs> Beautiful moment. I've got a little boy and I'm a single mum and everyone kept telling me, look, don't have too many boyfriends. I was like, all right, don't judge me. <laughs> I've had one boyfriend since my husband and I split up at Christmas time last year. Turns out some boyfriends really are just for Christmas. <laughs> and I was like, you will not meet my child until we've been going out for a year and all this sort of stuff. And uh, I arranged for him to come round when my kid was asleep and he was gone before my kid woke up. But my luck... Being my luck, one day they met for the first time at half past three in the morning on the landing of my house, both needing the loo, both naked. <laughs> this poor chap in a panic said to my little boy, Hello, I'm Father Christmas. <laughs> and my little boy looked at him and said, Oh, but he was here last night. 